Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do the hot glue foam piece portion, okay? So this is one of my layers. And so before I get started on the back, I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna put an X on the areas that I think I should put my foam piece. You're allowed to use as many foam pieces as you need because that way it'll have more support. If you just do one, it'll still be kind of flimsy. So it's okay if you need a little bit more, just don't get too crazy, okay? So once I have the X's, I'll go to a hot glue station and there'll be some baggies with some foam pieces. There's gonna be hot glue regun, or sorry, hot glue um, refills. And so you're gonna make sure that you get whatever size foam piece you need. Now, if your piece is way too big and you need it to be smaller, you are allowed to cut the foam. So if I wanna cut the foam a little smaller, okay, you can do that. So if you're somebody who wants foam pieces behind their words and you have skinny words, this will be a really great thing to do because if you use a really thick piece, your craftsmanship points will go down because I don't wanna see any of the foam piece. I should not see any foam pieces sticking out whatsoever. So I need relatively larger pieces. To use the hot glue gun, do not ever touch this. This is the hot part. This will burn your finger, okay? You put your hand on it like this and when you squeeze down, the glue will come out, okay? You put the glue on here. Do not put the glue directly onto your piece. Don't do that, okay? Put it on the foam piece. What you need to do is you very carefully do a little circle and that is it, okay? That's all you need to do. Then I'm gonna stick it onto my piece and that's it, okay? If you go too fast or if you're not paying attention, you might glue yourself. Um, so be careful, don't glue yourself to your project. If you've never used a hot glue gun and you're a little bit worried, let me know and I will be more than happy to help, okay? But again, you're going very slow and careful. You don't need a lot of glue. Again, it's like right in the middle. You can see on the side, right? That's all you need. I'm gonna stick it right here. And that's it. That's all I need. Now, if you work too slow, because you're talking or you're not paying attention and you put the hot glue on your foam piece and you walk away, you're doing something, this will dry and then it will not stick and then it'll be a waste, okay? So make sure you're working fast, okay? Now, let's say you're working and you run out of hot glue. Okay, if it gets really short and it's hard to get the glue to come out, there's a hole in the back. What you do is you get one of the refills, you stick it in the back, and boom, you can start using the hot glue again and it'll work perfectly fine. Okay, so again, recap. Put some X's on the back of your piece so you know where your foam pieces are gonna go. If you need to cut your foam pieces, you are welcome. Whoop, you are welcome to do so, all right? Only put a little bit of hot glue, not a lot, just a little. If you don't work fast, it'll get dried and then you can't use that piece, okay? When you look at the front, you should not see any foam pieces sticking out, okay? So that's craftsmanship. Do not have any of your foam pieces sticking out. Another thing with hot glue, especially if you've never used it, is it's very stringy. So there's a lot of strings, it's hard to see on camera, but there are a lot of, we like to call them spider webs, okay? That come with the hot glue. That is normal, don't worry about that. That's not craftsmanship necessarily, okay? Um, so when you're done with the hot glue and when you're not using it, always place it on the cardboard at whatever station you're at, okay? Because that way, if you put it on the counter and it starts leaking glue, it's gonna get stuck to my counter and it's gonna be really hard to get all the glue off my counter. It's gonna ruin everything. So please, please, please make sure it's always on the cardboard. It can lay like this 
or it can lay like that because there's a little leg here. You can do that, okay? So that is how to use the hot glue gun. That is how to add the foam pieces. Now, notice I didn't put, I did not put another layer. Don't do that. This will just count as one layer, okay? So this is just my first layer. This would be my bottom layer. I don't need any foam pieces. So I would put hot glue here, here, and here. I would stick it where I want, okay? And then my last piece, my smallest piece, again, hot glue. And then I would just stick it like that. And then there you go. I am not doubling up on my foam pieces. If you think you need to do that, you need to ask Miss Mills first because if you do too many layers, then it's gonna get too heavy and that's not what we're doing, okay? But we got one layer, my second layer, and my third layer, okay? Glue it however you need. I'm not gonna tell you how to glue it, but I can help you with how if you have questions, but just as long as you're able to get three layers somehow, one, two, three, okay? Then that's all we're doing, all right? So get started. Let me know if you have any questions.